craft room crash and I'm outside DIYer Lydia Crespo's house. Now, she's a fiber artist who prefers to work with onion skins and tree bark. That's interesting. Let's go crash her craft room and find out what Lydia is making today. Hey, Jane, come on in. Come on in. Whoa. My company is Argument and Defiance, and we make mostly scarves. So this is like the this is the hub, and I, this is some of your finished projects right here. Yeah, right? yeah. I call myself a surface designer, and I specifically am working with natural dyes and um, screen printing ink. So these are some of the pieces that I've either printed or I've naturally dyed. This is done with a matter root. A natural dye is anything coming from a tree bark or a root or a leaf that you're extracting pigment from those from that source. So you get this gorgeous red color, or um, you can get an orange or a pink from matter root as well. Oh, this is the matter root too? Yes. I'm actually taking big bolts of white fabric and then I'm throwing it in a dye pot. I don't do any dyeing out front here because I don't want it to accidentally spill on anything that I could be completing. My craft room is actually a craft apartment. Now this is where I'm gonna do all of my dyeing. <laughs> There's paint on the walls, there's paint on the floor, there's dye on the walls and on the floor as well. It literally is like a glitter bomb. It is. Bloated in here. If my craft room is clean, it means I'm not working, so it's always dirty. <laughs> I literally cannot get over this workspace. So this is an actual kitchen that you used to live in. Right, right. And, and habitate. And exactly. Like cook your meals out of this. And thing. that was the really hard thing, is finding a studio space that had a sink, because I'm going to be pouring dye down there. I'm going to be washing in there. So we're using onion skins. Correct. You like the red ones, specifically. And if you bring it up to just under a boil, all of the pigment just leaches right out of the skins and into the water. It's a lot more unexpected and fun and, right. you know, and it's easy to find, right, at your grocery store and you know what you're going to get. So I've made quite a few friends as far as like the stock people there. <laughs> Alright, so we've got an hour to kill. Yeah, we got an hour to kill. Okay, should we clean up? Nah, nah. I don't think so either. It's already coming. Look at the color. I know. It's crazy, right? Yeah. Okay, so you've taken the plain old water onion mixture, right? And now you're going to add some secret elements into it. Yeah. I'm going to be using iron yeah. today. And then I'm also going to be using alum. I'm going to use just a teeny bit of this. This is going to satin the color. That little bit of each of the iron and the alum is going to work for the whole pot. Correct. Yeah. Can I mix? Oh, please. Yeah. 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 Thanks. You've got the gloves on, right? Yeah. You, yeah. um... You go ahead and entertain yourself <laughs> doing something else. I'm going to go make another mess. <laughs> Great. All right, and then I'm just going to give it a little stir here. And now it's time for the fabric. This is how it starts. Yes. All right, and then we're just going to throw it right in. Oh, wait, this is exciting. <gasps> do you want to do the honors? Yeah, I do. Yes, please. OK, what do I do? All right, just dunk it in, and then I'm just going to swirl it around Bye. a little bit. Yeah. Silk. So I think we're just about there. It's black. Look at that. You Ooh. think it's black, but this will dry about six to seven shades lighter. Oh. Yeah. Okay, we are in a new space with some dry fabric. That's right. Uh, we are in what I call my printing room. Uh -huh. So you can see that the walls are completely yes. covered in ink, right? So yeah. I put some uh, screen printing ink in this bottle. Are you spraying this direction? I am. So I think you should. No, I'm, I'm yeah. out of here. I don't. I'm. Or, I'm already wearing some gold pants. I'm good. I don't need <laughs> no more gold. Okay. I'll hide right. behind you. I love the hand motion. It's just ever so it's slight. Like, it's very delicate. Very delicate. I now I know why that wall looks like it looks. Right. Yeah. Because when I miss. <laughs> <laughs> Here's our finished product, but next we're going to do the sewing. Yeah, but the finished product really is the fabric, that's and correct. that's what you do. So you're the fiber arts surface, surface designer. designer. So, okay, let's finish this up. You need to sew a seam, right, for correct. our infinity scarf? Yeah, we're going to do a French seam today. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put a first seam here, I'm going to flip it over, and then do another seam so that it locks it in real nice and tight. Okay, this is the finished product. This is After the finished all product. of that work, it's finished. Finally, right? Yeah. yeah. So do you want to go ahead and try it? I do. How do you wear the yeah. Infinity Just scarf? put it on the one time over your head, okay. or if you want to double it up, you can wear it as a cozy. Oh, room. I love that. Or you can put a little brooch right here. Absolutely. Great idea. This is so pretty. Thank you so much for having us in your craft room. Absolutely. Thank you for coming to my craft apartment. I, I love it. I'll be here uh, next week, maybe. Awesome. Okay. Bring the onion skins, right? I, I'll get the onion skins. <laughs>
<laughs> Thanks so much to Lydia. Now we all know the secret behind making natural dyes. And that is what Lydia is doing in her craft room. What are you doing in your craft room? I'll see you next time. This is so cool. Good. I'm it's glad amazing. you like How it. Do that? Oh, hey, don't forget, happiness is handmade because sometimes you just need to put down the cell phone and get up to your elbows and die. Have you ever been up to the elbows and die? Many times. Yeah. <laughs> with gloves on? Yes, with gloves. Always with gloves on.